I'd like to welcome you all to Old South Pittsburgh Hospital, PRC, Paranormal Research Center. Uh, I'm Heath. I've been a volunteer here for about, probably about four years. You're right now in the lobby of Old South Pittsburgh Hospital. From this point on, there's no electricity in this area, and I'll go ahead and start showing you around the hospital, telling you a little bit of the history. The hospital opened in 1959, and it was started by four doctors. And when we get to the second floor, I'll show you uh, the pictures. There was so much trash from where this was a antique store, a pet store, an embroidery store, and different things at one time. And since Ronnie, the new owner, bought it, I think we've taken 68 tons of trash, like the big dumpsters out of here. and. Just this area, we when we were cleaning it, taking the drywall down and everything, we found, actually found that door right there. It was behind the wall. And uh, of course, I mean, you know, it's, the brick was covered up by, by drywall and everything. Here's the restroom on the first floor and the elevators do not work. Uh, we do believe, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but we do think that's the elevator that Dr. O passed away in. What happened to the doctor? He, uh, he came in one day and he was, I think, a relatively young man, probably before his 40s, and he passed away. He had a massive heart attack and passed away in the elevator going up. And the week after he passed, there was a nurse. They were really good friends. She came into work from vacation and met him on the elevator going up. Well, she got off the floor to her job and was talking to one of the other nurses. And the other nurse told her, said, uh, I, I'm sorry, but uh, Dr. Rowe is what we call him. Uh, he passed away last week of a massive heart attack. And she's like, no, I just just had a conversation with him on, on the elevator. They're like, no, I'm sorry you didn't, but uh, he passed away. And they said it messed her up and she had to seek some help of some type. And a lot of times in the lobby and everything, you can hear just hear, hear stuff. Sometimes it's audible voices or just some kind of a noise or something. This is the second floor nurses area, and this is where I've had one of my experiences. And I had something talk to me and tell me it was sorry. And of course, over this area is the ICU. I seen a shadow go through, what looked like a shadow go through there and into the break room. And when we were investigating, we actually caught a EVP right here going into the uh, ICU of, and it said deep slumber. And I mean, that's a little bit, correlates a little bit. My flashlight. Deep slumber. Deep slumber. This bathroom right here, which it's, it's not working. That bathroom right there, a nurse actually had a heart attack and passed away in there. Don't know her name, just know the story, and they do have documents of it, but I'm not sure what her name is. And this was not an original, uh, when the hospital opened, this was not here originally. This was an addition to the hospital. And actually over here, you'll see the line uh, that separates the original side of the hospital to the addition. Yeah. That was in the 70s. Yeah, the second, this second floor was added on in the late 60s, like 68 or so. Mm -hmm. And the third floor was added on in the middle, early 70s. Yeah, but a lot of times when we're here, um, most of the time, this is a good area to do an EVP session. Sometimes we'll just sit here and just talk to each other. And, you know, sometimes we've had certain things that's, that's happened. And a lot of times it's when you're not recording. This is one of our favorite areas just because of course, this is where he's had his experiences at, but you really do. I've heard um, the uh, call light. I've heard it, what, we were here one day, um, one morning drinking coffee, and we were both sitting here and we both heard it. So we couldn't determine that it was anything else. So that's one thing that you might hear. Mm -hmm. And these were mainly the patient rooms yeah. down through here. But this section of the hospital, like she said, this from right here on, is the original hospital. Right here is the actual chapel for the hospital. And here would be cardio. 
but along these walls are actual articles. And right here are the actual doctors that founded the hospital. We think Havern, supposedly he's had two wives that came up mysteriously killed or murdered. Don't know if it was considered murder, but both times he was here at work, some of the other uh, volunteers have claimed they've caught him on a ghost box or a spirit of sap or something like that. But back in this area right here, this would have been day surgery. So this is actually Shadow Hallway. Shadow um, Hallway. Yeah, this is the That's what we Shadow Hallway. So sometimes you can just sit here, turn your lights off, you know, let your eyes focus, then you can actually see um, shadows go across. And even over here in day surgery. This would have been the waiting room. And can't say there's too many hospitals that if you have, are in the waiting room and you need to use the restroom, and the body box is right the next to you. Side. And you know, you're doing your business, so to speak, and there's bodies right next door. But it was only a two body box. And if they had other bodies, they would stick it in the uh, other x-ray room. And we have two x-ray rooms with the x-ray machines still in them. And you can actually go in there. They had to tear down the wall because they couldn't get the lock off the door, but it, you can actually go in there. There's a couple chairs. Sometimes people do the testes in there in there. Or do ghost box sessions, whatever you want to do. You can tell for a hospital this size, this is not a very big ER. No. So you wouldn't really want to come here unless you had to because they would, if it was something major, they would just patch you up and, you know, get you to where you could, were mobile and they'd send you to another hospital. And that's one of the other reasons why the hospital closed is because the hospital was too small for the community. And to renovate the hospital, it would cost much more so, than to build a new one. So they built a new one. Always remember the elevators face out front. If y'all get confused or whatever turned around, the uh, operating rooms, there were five, I think that's what they were. There's one for uh, endoscopy, and then these two would have been operating room one and two. And I, th I think this is the room that Ronnie and him said that the nurse, that what they saw walk, when he walked, they were standing right down there at the nurse's station, said she walked by him and walked down and went in that room. And that's what made him buy the hospital. And these are just connecting rooms to the autoclave and nurses and, and a locker room and stuff. And in here would have been labor, labor and delivery, recovery. And yeah, there's a mannequin in there. Don't want to scare you. The nurse, third floor nurses area right here. And this would have been the waiting room for, for people that want to see their family and stuff. The patient's rooms were all down through here. And have y'all ever heard of Nellie? Nope. Nellie was a resident here and she had dementia and she passed away in this room right here. And they found her, she was in the fetal position in the corner. And come to find out, we heard a story that the, the male uh, patients and stuff would tell the nurses, uh, can you tell that lady to stop climbing in bed with me at night? And it happened to a number of patients and we kind of think that it might be Nellie that was doing that. Not sure, but that's just my thinking. Because they would be complaining that this little lady would crawl in bed with them at night. But they never found out who she was. But they say she likes young men, so. So funny. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> but that was her bed and uh, they, this white one right here? Oh, no, no, this one right here. They, people bring her toys, and there's a gentleman that comes, and he brings her flowers. And it's been a while since he's been back. But mainly, that's, that's the end of the tour. There's one question we always ask. So do you think we're going to get pretty good activity tonight? Do you have any advice for us when we're here tonight? Uh, what we should use or any tell you the truth. Tell you the truth, I mean, you know, you all know, when you investigate, you get what you get. You know, it's, you know how it is. It's not planned or anything. 
there'll be other people that will tell you, hey, yeah, do this, do this, and but it don't ever happen. I mean, you know, it's yeah, it the paranormal does what it wants to do when it wants to do it. Exactly. Okay. All right, India. So we have waited a long time to come here to the old South Pittsburgh Hospital. And now that we are finally here and we did our walkthrough earlier with Heath, this place is really, really scary looking inside. I mean, it was once a hospital. It's been closed for almost uh, 20 years. So are you excited for tonight's investigation? I am excited. This is a bucket list location for me. So I'm excited to see if we get anything. I know people who have been here and they've had loads of stories. So hopefully with the help of our special guest, <laughs> we will get some activity. So everybody, please welcome back to Paranormal Encounters. If you've watched a few episodes of our show, you may have spotted her in the Sweet Springs episode. She was only in there for like a split second, but she's here tonight to help us do this investigation. Everybody welcome to Paranormal Encounters, my sister, Asia. Asia. <laughs> Asia. Like a good one. How are you feeling? I'm just hoping that me being a special guest is gonna set a good tone, you know? Do you think that having a pair of sisters in the hospital might, I don't know, stir up a little bit of activity? Do you think maybe we'll have a little bit of a psychic connection yeah, going on? Yeah, we're always on a similar wavelength, so hopefully that'll come through. Yeah, so we're gonna put you by yourself tonight how are you feeling about that? I'm excited. I want to go in head first, so. Are you actually excited or are you just... <laughs> no, no, I'm good. We're going to go in there. We're going to see what happens. We've heard some spooky stories and there's been, there's been a lot of death here. It's a hospital and that's usually a good recipe for paranormal activity. So let's go. Okay, so we are starting out on the first floor and right here is the elevator where a doctor here had a heart attack and Asia just walked into uh, something. <laughs> it's okay, everybody, every, I do it and I've been doing this a long time. So that was a great start. <laughs> anyway, right behind me is the elevator where a doctor here had a heart attack and died in the elevator and a nurse saw him and she didn't know that he had passed away. So we've got a REM pod set up and we're gonna also use a voice recorder. And a lot of people will ask us why we don't put EVPs in our episodes when we use a voice recorder. And the answer is we don't catch him. If we did catch him, we would put them in the episode. So maybe tonight will be different and we'll catch something. Let's give it a go. Voice recorder set up. We're on the first floor by the elevator. All right. So if there's anybody here, my name is India, this is my sister Asia, and we have Connor, and we have come to communicate with you tonight. I know that lots and lots of people come here to talk to you all the time, and it may get a little draining, you may not like it all the time, you may feel like we're intruding, but we're not here to intrude, we just want to communicate with you have some sort of sign that you're here and we can we can talk about whatever you want to talk about you can share whatever you want to share we have a little orange light on the table right there if you talk by that we'll be able to hear your voice and if you touch the little red light we'll be able to know that you're there because it will light up and make a noise so if you are there could you say something move something make a noise touch something Was there a doctor here or are you still here? Is the doctor still here that passed away in the elevator? Did you talk to your friend 
after you pass away, after she got back from vacation, what did you tell her? Do you know that you passed away? If I'm in need of medical help, is there a doctor here who can see me? It feels really quiet. All right, let's head on upstairs. Ending EVP session. After having no luck on the first floor, we made our way up to the third floor, which is said to be one of the most active places in the hospital. Because of the size of the hospital, we decided to focus our investigation in the hallway so that we could be in the center of the activity. All right, so right now, we have Asia at the end of the hallway. We have India here, and they're both gonna be doing an Estes method. So uh, we've never tried this before. So right now, we're, they're both sweeping at 200 milliseconds forward uh, sweep. And I'm gonna be asking questions down here in the middle. I'm gonna be whispering so they won't be able to hear me. They can't see each other. They're facing opposite directions. And we're gonna see if we can communicate with any spirits that could be up here on the third floor of the old South Pittsburgh Hospital. So here we go. Pain. All right, India just said pain. All right. Are there any spirits up here on the third floor with us? I'm going to be asking questions. We have Asia down here, and we have India. If you can speak through them and answer any questions that I might have. What happened to you here? How did you die? How many spirits are up here on the third floor? I heard like, maybe a laugh. A laugh? Is that you laughing? Can you tell me your name? Uh, it was a woman's voice. She said maybe Beth or Bath. Okay, India just answered me directly. That's the first direct response. She thinks it said Beth or Bath. And I asked, what's your name? And I said, Beth. Beth, are you up here on the third floor with us? Beth, were you a patient here? Uh, Connor, are you right behind me right now? No. I just, I just felt a footstep right behind me. All right, India, you can't even hear me. Are you right behind India? How many spirits are in this hospital? Just felt it again. Are you moving? I just heard a noise in here. Can you come speak to us? Where are you?
can you make a noise? Tell us your name. Heard a footstep in here. Hughes? That's one. Well, that's one of them. What is that? Somebody in here? Are you still in this room? It sounded like it just said Benji. Benji. Who is Benji? What is he? Monster. Monster? Okay. That was weird. What is a monster? Peter. Peter. Holmes. Home. Peter. Home. I. I couldn't fix him. Who couldn't you fix? Asthma. You couldn't. You couldn't fix the asthma. Are you a doctor? You couldn't fix asthma? Was it for Peter you couldn't fix? Who are we speaking with right now? Dad. Speaking with Dad? Who's dead? Friends. Friends? Pain. Who's in pain? How many spirits are in here? Toe. <laughs> Toe. All right, nothing's really relevant at this moment. How many people died here? Laugh. With you? There's a voice, but I don't know what he said. Can you tell me one of the doctor's names? I heard what sounded like a heartbeat. That's pretty well relevant here. What's what your doctor's name? Who passed away in the elevator? Can you tell me his name? I can still hear a heartbeat. I could hear a footstep or something. I don't think the camera audio picked that up. Whoa. Another noise. Is that you making the noise? Can you tell me your name?
I'm tired. You're tired? Okay, I'm not hearing anything. I'm gonna switch off. That was really odd. What? And I didn't notice it until after the fact. I don't know how to turn this off. So, I said, um, toe, and it made me laugh. And then after, the next thing it said, it said was laugh, but I didn't notice that until after the fact. It said toe? Uh, yeah, so I went <laughs> toe, and then the next word that came through was laugh. When we first started, I said, what's your name? India immediately said, Beth or Beth. She said that immediately after I asked that. Really? Yeah, but there were some real responses, like one, you guys both said the person's first and last name. It was really strange. I said Peter, and then the next thing I said was Dad. Well, Dad's middle name is Peter. Yeah. And yeah. I heard Benji. Yeah. Our dog. <laughs> you, you, oh, oh yeah. that, that reminds me. I said, who is Benji? Immediately, she said monster. <gasps> really? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, he is a monster. That's but... true. After a strange and rather compelling Estes method, we continued our investigation in another area said to be hot with activity, the second floor nurses station. It wouldn't take long for us to discover that some nurses may still be working their shifts. Okay. All right, India, what are we, uh, what are we about to do right now? We are about to do everybody's favorite thing, and we're gonna do a portal session. And we also have a REM pod set up. Uh, we're at the nurses station on floor two. And I've been told by a couple of people, including Richard Estep, a good friend of Paranormal Encounters, that this area is quite active. And he suggested that we spend some time here. So that's what we're doing. And hopefully we'll get something. We'll get some good voices. We'll get just something. So let's give it a go. Hello? What was that? The REM pod. REM pod? Hello? Are you... Um, we're here to see a doctor. Could we get in? Oh, we haven't started the portal and just started going off. Could you touch that light if we could get in? Can we come up to the desk? Okay, thank you. Do you want me to come over there? I've got chills right now. Thank you. Um, could you touch the light if, if I can come up to the desk? I'm trying to pull the volume up. You can use this device over here on the table to speak to us. We're just trying to see a doctor. Or a nurse? Is there a nurse available? That's crazy. We've only been sitting here, what, two minutes? Yeah, not even that. You just literally turn on the, the portal. Oh, there you are. Hello. Is there a doctor or a nurse that we can see? Richard, you weren't wrong, mate. Can you light that up to let me know you're here if I need help? Are you a nurse? What was that behind me? Is that what it said? Yeah. Someone just hit the window behind me. But it could have been just outside. Yeah, I don't know what that was. 
Are you a doctor? It's really strange how quiet this is. It's usually not quiet. Who touched the red light on the counter over there? Should I go over there? Yeah. Hello? Is there anybody, is there a nurse that can help me? That was a man's voice. Yeah. Is there a doctor? Or, or somebody that works at the desk? Is Dr. O available? It's really strange how that went off mm -hmm. so much and now it stopped. <laughs> oh, if I'm sick, who can I see? Can you give me an estimated wait time to see somebody? That was a sentence. Mm -hmm. Very, very quiet. Mm -hmm. it's, coming. it's coming? Is that what it said? Where's the best place we can communicate with you at? Do you want to just turn this off and, and see if we can hear what we can yeah. hear? Yeah, but I definitely heard a noise. You heard that too, Asia? I heard it. That is a corner area where uh, he said there is a, something with a woman near that bathroom. Was that you that made that noise? Can you make that noise again? There was a noise from down there. Yeah. If you're a nurse here, can you make a noise? Thank you. Are you a male? If you're a male, make a noise. If you're a woman, can you make a noise? Excited from our experiences by the nurses station, we moved on to each take our turn sitting in the body box. Asia and myself did not capture anything. India, however, received a couple of spear box responses. My name is India, what's your name? Um. Maybe like something mama. Uh, 
I don't like the feeling in here at all. Is anybody in here with me? I was. Where are you now? To end the night, we left a static camera rolling in the shadow hallway, but unfortunately did not capture anything we deemed to be paranormal. It appeared that the hospital had gone to sleep and we were ready for bed ourselves. So we've just finished with our investigation here at the South Pittsburgh Hospital. I had a great time. What did you guys think, Asia? I was pleasantly surprised. I did not think we'd get nearly as much as we did. I think you came in here being very skeptical and I think you came out being really excited with what we got. Yeah, definitely. I'd agree with that. What did you think? I really liked the whole REM pod in the nurse's wing area. Uh, even though we didn't really get much stuff on the portal, it was kind of strange, but I had a really good time here at the old South Pittsburgh Hospital. Would you come back? I would come back. Would you come back? I'd love to come back and do the parts that we didn't do. Yeah, and I would come back too because I think every time you come here you probably get something different. So. Ready to call it a night? Yeah. All right. This is Paranormal Encounters signing off from the old South Pittsburgh Hospital. We'll see you next time. The Old South Pittsburgh Hospital is a place where life was both brought into the world and taken out of it. With so many intense moments taking place inside these walls over the years, it's no surprise to us that we were able to experience a glimpse into what once was. Something still lingers here. It's intelligent and it's strong. And it's letting us know that death isn't always the ending.